Come here, give me a big hug. It's me, 8-Bit Eric. I am back with another review. Today we're going to take a look at Semispheres for the Nintendo Switch. A simple puzzle game. Simple is not enough to describe this. This is like very minimalistic simple. It's kind of a, I guess, a chilled out, relaxed, meditative puzzle game. We're going to take a look at Semi-Sphere and see if it's semi-good or not in today's video. So thanks a lot. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, if you're brand new, this is your first time, please go ahead, click that sub button, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's begin. All right, so Semi Spheres is a single player, I guess, puzzle experience. You can technically play it with somebody if you hand them a separate Joy-Con, but it's meant for a single player to use both sides or their brain at the same time. This is kind of a neat concept. You don't see this too many times in puzzle games. It's already been released on the PlayStation 4 and Steam. It's finally over ported to the Nintendo Switch as part of all these Nindies that are coming we're getting independent games all over the Nintendo Switch eShop, especially puzzle ones. Right now is a perfect time to try all these out. When I saw Semi Spheres, I just knew I had to pick it up and play it. If you take a look at it, you can see this trippy, glowy, blue and orange type of graphic that that's all you're basically going to see. You're going to see two colors. You're going to see minimal graphics. There's two blobs, two circles that you control in this game. As you make your way through a set of puzzles, there's about 58 of them for you to solve. The general idea of each puzzle is to get both of your little blobs or jellyfish, whatever you want to call them, to a portal. Now, here's the catch. There's two separate sides of the screen. Each stage will kind of split into two. You have a blue side and an orange side. You control the left side with the left analog stick, the right side with the right analog stick. Sounds simple enough because that's all there really is. Now aside from a couple of other stage power-ups that you get, such as something that causes like a sound effect or a sound wave to distract your enemies or a thing that opens up a portal that allows you to interact with the other side of the screen, there's not much else here. You just use the two analog sticks, which is makes this game just a very easy to pick up and play puzzle game there's no worrying about patterns there's no worrying about rotating like in tetris or fitting blocks anywhere you literally just move these blobs to a certain part on the screen simple there is a small story that is told through a comic strip that happens after every few levels in this game when you unlock a new puzzle i guess set you'll see a chapter or a little script of a boy and his robot doesn't have any explanations. It's something for you to look at. Once you progress through the game, I guess you puzzle piece a little bit of the story together. But the story is pretty much an afterthought. This game is meant to be a meditative type of game that allows you to work your brain. And having to control two different sides of the screen at once with two different analog sticks, it actually starts to get a little bit troublematic. Now, at first, the puzzles slowly dip you in you know they're not too hard you can make it through the levels rather easily each puzzle adds a new type of concept such as the enemies on the screen having a cone of vision kind of like Metal Gear Solid where if you get into that you have to start over instantly there's different ways that you got to distract them like I mentioned such as your other guy making a portal to where he can make a sound wave that touches the other side of the screen to distract the sentry drone long enough for you to uh basically run around him or you do it yourself and you got to avoid him and go around obstacles in the stage to get to the portal after 58 levels of this it can get a little boring this is why i think semi spheres is not meant to be played on a long sitting even though you could probably breeze through it in an hour or two i feel that this game is perfect for playing in quick short 
Burst, which is what the Nintendo Switch is for. In my opinion, Semi Spheres on the Nintendo Switch is the definitive edition because you can just pick up your tablet, play a quick session of it or two, and put it away and forget about it. Now, sure, there's a lot of puzzle games coming out on the Nintendo Switch, a lot of indie games coming out. This game seems like it might not have as much replayability as other titles on the eShop might have. It is $9.99, which doesn't make it too high. There is some enjoyment that you could get out of this. If you're looking for something real chill, you might find some enjoyment out of this. For me personally, once I was through with it, I was through with it. It's not a horrible game, it's just very minimalistic. If you were looking for something a little bit more faster paced, something more action packed, find a different puzzle game but if this looks like something that you're willing to try out i mean i can't who am i to tell you what to spend your hard-earned american money on that aside semi spheres did did provide a nice little neat little concept that actually had me frustrated and yelling at my screen quite a few times because i would overthink a lot of these puzzles when the solution sometimes would be very simple so it's hit or miss as far as difficulty goes there is a lot of you know, trying to level over and over and over. As far as soundtracks go, pretty basic ominous tone in the background. Graphics minimalistic. There's no performance issues in a game like this, so you can't really say the Switch version runs any different than the PlayStation or Steam version. It's gonna run perfectly for handheld. With that, I would say if you're gonna pick one, pick the Nintendo Switch version of this game because you could pick it up and take it on the go with you and give your friend the extra Joy-Con that unofficial local co-op experience, I feel personally gives a little bit of incentive to pick up the Nintendo Switch version. Now guys, that's it for my review today. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next video.